Okay, I'm still gushing over the use of the polycarbonate as like an accent. We're using clack bits today. These were given to me by Mr. Oak. And I went in and re-lubed them, even though I thought these were perfectly usable non-lubed. There was a slight, slight spring crunch. So we're using these today. Some clack bits. Look how pretty these switches are. I was a little bit um, cautious about me using these switches today because I was like, man, I don't know the color of the board we're building, but I think this is going to work beautifully. I know what the box says Singa. It is not Singa though. This is just what it was sent in. This is a prototype unit. So if there's stuff uh, that will need to be changed today, we will change it. Uh, they also sent a pre-assembled PCB, which we'll take a look at. Maybe we'll install this today, I'm not sure. They installed it with Nixies. And this, unlike yesterday's build, can be built plateless if you want, which is probably why they sent me a plateless uh, iteration of it. So it is an O-ring mount board and it uses standoffs to, uh, I believe, house the O-ring. So it's, it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. So here's our plate. Pretty standard, nice looking plate, guys. Can't complain. We have a carbon fiber one. I've always, I don't know, man, carbon fiber always makes me smile. It's such a nice looking material and polycarbonate. I don't know what I'm going to use today. I do want to use a plate though. So we have our O-rings. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know which one's which. I uh, unfortunately don't know which one's which. And I didn't think to ask because I only thought there was going to be one O-ring in this. It's not Singa, it's just what's in the case. Ignore the Singa thing. Um, but I don't know which one's which here, so we're gonna put those aside and we'll figure it out later. All right, now I want to show you guys this board because genuinely this board's pretty. This board's actually really pretty, dude. All right, this is the Quantum 60. It's a 60% extended, and low key it's pretty nice, dude. So, really cool, but you can see that the bottom has like this mid plate. Uh, I don't even know what to call this, really, this mid-accent piece, which appears to be polycarbonate. Really cool. I don't actually know prices for this. I don't even think this has vendors yet. Let me double, double check. I don't think there's anything. This is like a super early proto, guys. But such a, like, such a pretty looking board. Here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Okay, I'm sorry, it's gonna be shaking a bit. Look at that. Look at that side profile. Again, there might be some nicks and scratches on this as a prototype. Very cool. And it doesn't use a traditional O-ring style. Like you guys will see when we build it. It's genuinely super nice. And you can do a few different mounting styles, I believe. I think it's either a top mount. Actually, I'm not even too sure if it's a top mount and o-ring but i think you can do two different mounting styles technically let's uh, zoom back out here stop shaking camera the bottom simulates to the vega a little bit i don't think it's taken too many design cues from anything it's kind of i mean dude that the the little piece of acrylic or again polycarbonate I'm not too sure what it is makes this board pretty unique from its side profile so a bunch of numbers, there you are, perfect. A bunch of numbers, do you actually, um, do you, I hate to ask so early on because I don't know the, the, the steps of your protos yet. Do you happen to know uh, maybe a rough estimate, <clears throat> rough estimate of what this is probably gonna be costing? I like to clear feet. Yeah, I, you know what, at the end of the day, these are always, Easy to use the regular bump ons. I appreciate them. I used to hate them, but now I appreciate them. Beautiful color though, man. Look at this thing. Look at the color on this. Oh, dude, I really like this. Around 500, I figured as much. A lot of work went into this. You can really tell. And I don't know if I want to use hot swap or solder today. I really like this color, man. This color is beautiful. Bunch of numbers. Uh, I got to tell you, dude, I really, really vibe with the, the aesthetics of this board. Really vibe. I hope the sound, like I'm conf I'm confident you did, you did your due diligence in making sure the sound's awesome, but here's our PCB. 
pretty standard looking PCB. Nothing too crazy. It does have a, uh, it does look like it has support for, I don't know if there's gonna be a wooden key version of this, but we, we have to use 7U today because there's blockers. Okay. These are installed. And then I'm thinking we do carbon fiber plate today. I'm thinking that's the move. Uh, this keyboard, if it ends up having the colors that it states it has, will have a lot of colors that I really like. I like these more muted kind of subdued colors. Uh, that is a prototype sample of the green. Okay. Yeah, I guess keep that in mind too. This is prototypes. So it might not be 100% indicative of like the final thing, but alrighty. We are done putting the clack bits inside our PCB for the Quantum 60. Okay, now let's open up the Quantum 60, shall we? Again, very pretty looking board. Love this color. I hope this color ends up making it to the production. Has this piece of polycarb on the bottom too. You can kind of see it on the corners. Love the materials they use for this. Love it. Very pretty looking board. So some great choices of different things to give this board a breath of fresh air. Love it. You got the little cherry lip on the front. Beautiful looking, classic looking side profile layered with different stuff. Great looking, again, just to kind of show you guys this one more time. Gorgeous. Bottom piece, classy. Logo is not too intrus intrusive either, so just kind of works there. There we go. All right, let's open this thing up. Cool. Let's move this over to this. Actually, you know what? Because I want to see. Oh my, is it in here? Bruh. The whole time it was in the bottom. Let's just take out the screws. The bro, dude. I didn't realize it was sitting underneath. We've all been there. How is I supposed to know? Okay, we'll find the screw afterwards, somewhere on my carpet. I want to see this though. This is cool. So it's just like a little, uh, ooh, okay. So it is a polycarbonate piece. This looks, this looks like complex. Interesting. So for this one, since I'm not gonna top mount this, I'm gonna O-ring mount this. I think what I do is I put the O-ring on, do I take this off? Let me look at the instruction manual. <sighs> because you're supposed to know everything, true. They actually have like a pretty decent little guide that I'm looking at too. So always helps especially for a more complex build. What does the back uh, look like? It's uh, pretty simple. I think it's classy looking though. I think the, the attic component of it using, oh, wrong bit. Uh, a few different materials here is really cool. Really, really cool for this. <laughs> oh, let's put it in this one here. I think this is two different sizes, one's longer. Actually, is, isn't that right? I just need to kind of bring it up a little bit here. I think I'm... So for O-ring mount, install the four custom standoffs, did that. Okay, let's take a look at all this. So this is really interesting. This is technically, if you want to consider this part of the, the build, a four piece construction with a weight. So I can see why this demands a little bit of a higher price tag, which I am totally okay with. This is really cool. Everything's, even though this is a proto, this is pretty well handled. There was like a little bit of a scuff on the outside that I noticed in one of the corners, like very minor. This is really neat. Um, so this is for O-ring and then place one side of the assembly is shown in the diagram ensuring just the O-ring, uh, rest. Oh, as so we put it on, do we put the O-ring on first? B -b 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 yes. Okay. I don't know all the durometers for this, so I'm just going to play a guessing game.
literally just gonna whatever which one's the firmest I think the black one. Oh yeah okay let's just use this guy attach the o-ring between the pcb and standoffs hmm so interesting so unlike typical i guess o-ring mounts this would go on the standoffs so technically, if you wanted to use, I'm assuming I'm doing this right. If I am, technically you could use regular screw-in stabs and this would be totally fine, which is kind of neat. And then what's my next step here? Next step is placing this guy down into this, which is there a specific way for this or am I doing this upside down here give me one sec to figure this out guys does it fit straight down it doesn't fit straight down oh it doesn't fit straight down am I doing this the wrong way then does it go this way you have to lever it in from one side. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got one side in, sort of. Okay, let me pop this out. It's a bit finicky in this proto. Design has a little chamfer to make this. Okay, perfect. I was gonna say like, definitely a little awkward for this proto, but we'll see if we can get this in nicely. Hmm. So, do you mean one side like left to right or do you mean top to bottom a uh, bunch of numbers? Oh, hold on. I think I have it nicely now. Wood switches, these are clack bits, which is a lot of people's preferred switch, apparently. Took a little bit of pressure to get in, but it seems like we got it. And then, the O-ring should be resting on top of the six screw points. It's a little fin it's a little finicky for sure, but it's not difficult by any means. Definitely not difficult. Oh, look at that. That's that's nicely fitted in now. Perfect. Very interesting. And these just kind of slot into that. Very cool. This is my first time with clack bits. I was actually saving them for this board because I thought this board was a really cool choice for this. Cool, now we can assemble this back together. Uh, yes, we have to assemble it this way. <clears throat> I was literally just looking at them. Yeah, they're, they're clack bits. I think they're gonna sound nice in this board. Um, Salvation or Envoy, if I had to pick one, Okay, so we're gonna install the screws on the top again. And it says we might have to slightly shift the O-rings to get it done, which is totally fine. The other thing too, I would probably ask for if it's not too much trouble, bunch of numbers. I know this seems like ridiculous of me, but magnetic screws are always a nice touch. Hold on, we forgot, we forgot the little polycarbonate piece. I'm not used to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 we got that, we got it, we got it, I remembered. Such a cool mid, like mid piece. So neat. Okay. That is pretty. Let's screw this bad boy back in. Please do uh, something like this for Toper. And then, oh, yeah, okay. I think magnetic screws are Definite must hold on. So, okay, there is, I'd say like two things that I'm not like, when, like the O-ring thing's already being fixed, bunch of numbers said. And then I think just magnetic screws for the top. Maybe if this is, if this is non-necessity, the plate obviously needs to be fixed for that, but. Ooh. Look at this side profile again. 
Oh man, this looks beautiful. This looks cool. I think it's the uh, polycarbonate piece. I know I keep stressing that, but man, what a sharp looking board this is. This is pretty. Well, I'm gonna put some stuff away and then we'll, we'll go in and play around with this guy a little bit more. Dracula? Dracula's pretty blue though. I don't think Dracula would look as good as you guys think on this. Uh, I don't have that set quest. Pyga I don't think would look good on this. I'm thinking Noir or Norse. I'm leaning more towards Norse myself. I don't know, I feel like this, this kind of works because this has that bit of like a blue green to it. This is a pretty looking board, man. I really like this. Like, wow, that looks beautiful. Okay, I'm still gushing over the use of the polycarbonate as like an accent. I would have never thought to do that. Yeah, I like this. This is a really nice looking board. <laughs> I'm not doing a lick test, please. Oh, uh, do I like the clack bits? I haven't even used them yet. Give me a set quest and I'll let you know. So this is the FR4 plate with clack bits. I did lube these. Uh, so this is a long pull switch and I did decide to use the FR4 plate and the O-ring mount. This is kind of like, I wouldn't describe this as, what well, doesn't really feel or look like it assembles like a, tr a traditional O-ring mount. It's kind of like a pseudo O-ring slash sort of a top, like a gasket. I wouldn't even say top, but you can make it a top mount. Let's see how this thing sounds. It is soft, which is kind of nice. Or sorry, did I say FR4? Carbon fiber, my mistake. Honestly, to me, carbon fiber and FR4 kind of share the same sound trait. Oh, I like this. You told me this space bar wasn't that good. This is great. This has like really punchy alphas too. How's the num row? Oh, this, do you mean the F row? Um, maybe the weakest part about the sound of the keyboard. Sounds a little empty on the top left. But I mean like for, I don't think you, you're gonna be using this for sound per se. It's not what you're typing on. I would say this, it could also be uh, your right bunch of numbers. It could be that cut you put over here. It does sound a little emptier on the left side of the board. Again, me personally, that wouldn't throw me off too much. Maybe if that flex cut was removed or that relief cut was removed there, it could possibly bring some umph back to the F, F column there, the macro column. Numro sounds fantastic though. Alphas sound fantastic. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do it tonight. I think tomorrow, if you guys are interested. Tomorrow, I wanna install this guy. So, as a little bonus thing, and I wanna put this thing here in, cause dude, if this sounds this good, I've been, I go back and forth with how much I like plateless, but I wouldn't mind trying the plateless rendition of this. 
Yeah, you can build O-ring plateless with this because the O-rings don't sit tra like traditional. This is why I said it's kind of like a play on O-ring, which is really cool. So it's there. It's a bunch of numbers take on how O-ring works. It uses these metal standoffs and then the O-ring would go around this to illustrate with the yellow. So that's how the O-ring would sit. Really interesting take on this. And again, it's kind of like a pseudo gasket, pseudo O-ring anyways. Uh, I didn't realize the polycarb is clear. Yeah, yeah, here, stick it in look. It's a clear polycarbonate on the side. So you can sort, I mean, I can really see it in person, but you can see it like right there. See how that, it kind of just refracts the light differently through that piece there? So it's a really interesting play on three different colors and just styles here. So you got this top piece, which is that muted kind of green. The second piece, which is this almost gray, then the polycarbonate, and then back to the green. Then you have the weight peeking out. So it's just this really cool layer of material and color, which, man, beautiful, absolutely stunning. Sounds great, feels good too. I don't know who's vendoring this. I don't know if a bunch of numbers has got to the stage of vendors yet. Beautiful basic stack mount, but again, play on how well the, the stack of stuff is. Very cool, absolutely stunning board. And for the few people that were wondering, this does not have RGB. I don't think this needs RGB. <laughs> I really don't, man. Oh man, I, I, I love getting these projects in because you can tell a lot of, a lot of like love went into this, you can tell. A lot of love. I thought you were going insane because I didn't realize the stack, um, I didn't seem that crazy. No, 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 dude, like when you really look at it, when you really look at the different colors here, we'll look from like right here, like this angle. When you really look, there's a lot going on. It's cool, right? There's a lot going on for that stack of uh, stuff there. It's subtle and you can even kind of tell, like if I were to bring this to the edge of the gray, like this, let's just bring it like this. You can kind of tell what's going on, even from the side, and it looks great. Ooh, this sounds even better off the desk pad. One of those rare boards that I feel like. Hmm. I like this, this is nice. Uh, thoughts on the Omni-type keycaps and how they compare to modes? Uh, I would, I mean, they're totally different. One's PBT, one's ABS. Uh, totally, totally different. I can't, I honestly couldn't even begin to like better compare them other than one is also double shot. One I believe is die sub. So very hard to compare. Uh, if I had to pick one, like as of right now, I'm more into the mode ones just cause I like ABS though. Some people love PBT. Um, for Mac users, neither, man. Honestly, I would recommend just going standard win, like win key. You're gonna need, like I find myself with even like this, this is difficult for me to use on Mac. So I tend to not go for this. I just go for standard, no win key, or win, no win keyless. Uh, sounds even better, that's crazy. I really like this. Awesome looking keyboard. Take care everybody, love you guys. See you guys later.